Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my five t worst magic purchases ever. And I, I like to talk about this issue because a lot of times when people do, oh, I made a lot of money from this and I'm, I know that's not actually true because you lose money too. So I actually like to talk about losing money. I know you guys enjoy that more than a brag video, I guess. Uh, number five is the Mana Bloom, and I don't actually value, uh, Mana Bloom is number five, and I didn't buy that many of them, I did buy them, but they started spiking up. So the whole, I when you went to this uh, journey into Naix or what, Pharos or whatever, we're going to enchantment block, everyone knew it was an enchantment block, and you're looking at enchantments, and Mana Bloom is a crappy enchantment, no one said it was good, but it's a repeatable enchantment that you keep playing, so I was thinking, Okay, it'll be like an enchantress, you know, enchantress deck where you got Agra Ref Enchantress, a uh, very beautiful card by the way, or Mesa Enchantress, and you have cards that like if you pay, play enchantments, you're going to draw cards. I had no idea that they wanted to do like bestow or whatever. Like I figured it would be like, hey, if you play enchantment, like bo boggles. I, I felt like it would be like boggles. If you played a card or core spirit dancer cards and they would be very powerful. And you would want to play as many enchantments as possible. And this was a very relatively cheap, repeatable enchantment. But that's, I was not the only one who believed it because I purchased a few at like 15 or like very low price at the bottom price. And then like the next day they all went up like to like 45 cents or 50 cents and other people were buying it. So I didn't have the opportunity to spec. Now that being said, I would have speculated extremely hard on it had the price been you know around the same like the I think it was like 10 12 cents 15 cents maybe I would have probably purchased a lot more uh, but then they went up to a quarter and then went up to 40 cents and by the time I could reload I, I mean you're looking at 45 cents a card and I was like nah that's not for me now number four is actually a magic related item but it is not like a magic card it is the magic uh, Funko figures so uh, when they first came out it was about 10 bucks at Barnes & Noble now you couldn't, you, Barnes & Noble will pay you to take their Funko figures. Uh, not just the Funko figures, but the action figures. I actually did not purchase the action figures and I should have waited. I kind of figured that Magic the Gathering and Barnes & Nobles wouldn't do very well because um, my Barnes & Nobles in the Galleria of Houston has a lot of anime figures and they do semi well, but a lot of times I see them on discount. So I figured Magic the Gathering would be more so. Yes, these Funko figures went from like 10 bucks to like two bucks. And then uh, if there's cases of them where people have noticed them in Target or Walmart for like way, way less. We're talking about like 90% discount, 95% discount. And uh, it's actually a great value, but at the same time, I kind of figured I could have waited on it, but I did buy most of the Funko figures I wanted and at the you know, at MSRP price at $10. So that was like number four. I could probably wait for the collection, purchase more of it. And then by the time, the reason it was bad in my opinion was by the time I purchased them, I didn't want to repurchase anymore, which I, that was a mistake. Uh, number three, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I made a boo-boo on Loftlift Troll and I reminded me of Wild Mongol in every single way. I looked at the card, it, I played with Wild Mongol and Odyssey one of my favorite cards of all time, it was not that. And I, it looked like a better version of it. Like that's what kind of got me to it because Why Mongol was dominant. It was absolutely dominant. Um, and I felt like scavenge, okay, that's kind of like madness. Like I felt like, okay, there's stuff to support it, but it didn't take off and that was a very, very poor speculation. Uh, next, second worst speculation, Vraska. Um, so I speculated on her when rotation was going to go around. So I felt like she was very strong. And um, that was before the dual deck printing, obviously, which tanked her price even more. But even before that, her card was not valuable. I felt like, wow, this is a card with a repeatable pseudo vindicate. It can't hit lands, but it's pseudo vindicate. Um, and you could pump it, it can control a game. It can just control a game, but her plus one ability, I overestimated why that would be good, and it was very poor. Uh, the plus one has really, I mean, they're gonna, you're plusing one to add a loyalty counter, and then they're gonna smack her anyway. 
Like that's, that's not great. That's not great. So Vraska was my number two. My all time for war speculation, I don't, I don't think I've ever uh, mentioned it on this channel because it is uh, rather, it used to be Scarlands, the fast lands, but they have uh, jumped in price. Uh, my all time spec worst uh, magic purchase uh, would have been uh, the time I purchased a ton. So back in the day, so I'll have to give you guys a story as to like what was going on. Um, during Alliance, uh, Magic was not very popular. It was losing popularity, people were getting out the game. I mean, you just had Ice Age and Alliance. Those are two sets that were not great. And then before, and then I think before there was a really bad set, Fallen Empires. I mean, that was a whole period of time. Magic was not becoming more popular. Magic stores, Magic Wizard Coast had their own store and that bankrupt or they decided not to do it. So Magic was not becoming popular and I purchased a ton of Contagions. So Contagion is the black version of Force of Will, which is worth like a couple, like maybe a quarter. And I had the opportunity to purchase a ton of Force of Will, even more so than I previously could have, but I chose to pass on that to purchase Contagions. And now you might say, okay, why did you purchase Contagion? Then, well, rather than, you know, the $100 Force of Will card for the, well, it was relatively the same price. I know Force of Will was like 10 bucks or something like when it was in standard, but once it rotated out, it was like two to $5 in cash or in trade. I don't exactly remember. That was a long time ago. But Force of Will, when I was picking up these collections, I would pick up Force of Will, but almost as like, eh, kind of like how I was picked up Hunt Masters, like, eh, I want Phileas, I don't want Hunt Masters. And then the Hunt Masters, they actually spike and the Phileas are still you know, at the decent price. But at that time, you could pick up most of them very easily because they were uncommon, right? Remember, they were uncommon. So there was a ton of them floating around all the time, especially after it rotated out. So I could have picked up a lot of Force of Whales. I had the option to go ahead and pick up a lot more Force of Whales and I picked up 35 Force of Whales at that time. I could have picked up probably close to 75, maybe 100 of them. Again, they were uncommon, so they weren't that difficult to pick up. But instead of doing that, I picked up Contagions because that has a picture of a cute cat. And, uh, you know, I mean, again, remember I was in like elementary school, I believe. Yeah, I believe it was elementary school. So I was like, oh yeah, Contagions. And even then I was kind of a hoarder. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Um, and I still regret that because like I, in my mind, those could have easily been Force of Whales. Um, all of those contagions I picked up. I could have just picked them up left and right and left and right. Think, oh, do you want this Force of Whale? I was like, I guess I need a set. I'm trying to complete as many sets as possible. So it didn't work out. Um, I spent all my allowance money on not Force of Whales, but contagions. And I felt contagion. I mean, removal back then was at a premium, right? Like counter spells, like you had counter spell at two and that's what you were used to. You had mana leak, you had all these really good counter spells. Even in Mercadian Mass, you had counter spell at two. So like Force of Will, I was like, okay, no one wants Force of Will because Dark Banishing um, or a Contagion-like effect was more expensive mana-wise than a counter spell. But obviously as a little kid, you didn't understand why Force of Will was so good. Uh, anyway, that was my worst speculation or my worst magic purchase only because it prevented me from purchasing the card I actually should have been purchasing all that time. I mean, it's really sad when I think about it. And it's, it's so funny because it's tied to my best purchase, which is the Force of Whales, right? The Contagion and Force of Whales are always tied together and that's what MTG Finance is. It's you have good ones and you have bad ones and sometimes they go hand in hand. Bye guys.